Hello, welcome. In this video, we will see how we can create a site ID in the system and then we can how we can extract the data or we can systematically arrange the data in, in relation to the site ID. So to create a site ID, you have to go to the project accounting module. You have to go to the all projects. So now you have to define under which project you need to create a site ID. So suppose you are creating under this particular project. Let's say it's PK zone 001. Okay, then you can click on sub project. And now you can see under the same project, the four uh, uh, numeric numbers are available that is the site ID code for the ERP like the system understand its own uh, site ID but now there will be confusion that the system will have its own site ID and the client have his own site ID so what you can do here under the project name you can mention the client site ID okay and then the rest of the thing is automatically taken you can change the date whatever is uh, the correct one and then you can create a project site ID so you can see this site ID is created in the system like in case if you are facing a problem while creating a site ID and the error basically comes of calendars is scheduling so you have to click on this and from a drop down list you have to select ING in case ing is not available just right click on this view details and you can click on new and you can update with ing ing default and the standard work eight hours so if you can uh, update this information and save it the calendar ing will be available under the drop down list so once the once the calendar is created you can save this and the particular project uh, site ID is created okay so now the site ID is created and all the uh, entries are done so when you extract the TB like when you are extracting a trial balance and you select the dimension set at the site ID level so you can change the dimension set main accounts to the site ID so here the site ID that the system will generate is a site ID uh, of the system it will not generate the site ID of the client so this will uh, also be confusing because the system will uh, run on its own site ID and if have, and while you have to track the cost at the uh, client site ID name so so here you can extract the trial balance with all the dimension set so our trial balance is ready so you can see there is a cost for which the site IDs are available you can see but here you will be confused as I told you the site ID is uh, the system generated name so you can export this into the next cell and you can export this trial balance into an excel then you can go to the project accounting module under the project management you can see against the site ID the project name or the client uh, name is mentioned over here so you can export this to and then you can apply the VLOOKUP so you can get the client ID name as well okay and then like if you are creating a site ID uh, in one project because uh, what it can happen that there are multiple projects and there can be one site like for one site under one project you got the work of uh, civil work second work you uh, second you got the PO in that case you cannot uh, use the site ID for one project under the site uh, and with other projects so let me explain you like if you if you got the project of uh, building a site under this so you created a site ID okay and then you get another uh, work of the same site under this project so the site ID created under this project 
will not be relevant under this project because uh, there is a mismatch in the naming structure and the system will not allow you to use that so what we can actually do if you create a project uh, uh, a site id under this project you can mention that abc like we mentioned abc uh, client abc dash bui you can mention so it is for built if it is for power under this you can add so you can add an activity so that the segregation is available but you are obliged to do only this when the project uh, id is different if the project id is same and you have multiple activity you can still continue to use that particular uh, site id so there will be no issues but in case the, the project uh, id is is different and the activity is also different then you need to segregate the project name or the uh, with an activity so that you have a segregation available okay so this was uh, important uh, i hope the the video is clear in case you have any doubt in regard to the project uh, project accounting module to the, then you can please contact us so thank you